Welcome to our series on thoughts on trading cryptocurrencies, where we will go over some of the things that will help us as traders make certain trading decisions. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment on our video. We would really appreciate your feedback. So for today, we'll look at some of the easier factors we consider when looking at our position in Bitcoin. So let's get started. Uh, Bitcoin has definitely taken a recent fall from its highs uh, according to this trading view bitmex bitcoin index it has fallen from a high of around 58,000 all the way down to about 46,000 as i make this video right now uh, this is a quite a uh, interesting inflection point on whether to keep flatten or increase or even go short our position so we'll look at a few things. One of the things that we initially look at is, is that we do look for trending patterns. And one of the more simple things that we do look at, that we can look at on the fly, is the 25-day simple moving average, just to give us an idea how much momentum there is in any particular asset. You can tell over time, as I move my mouse um, from these points, I can point one, two, three in December again when it crossed in uh, earlier February that as a asset or in this case Bitcoin crosses from a lower point to a higher point and crosses through an upward trajectory uh, over the 25 day moving average it does tend to exhibit consistently a pattern of trending um, on an upward motion for quite some time however uh, most recently as we can tell on this most recent path that the price of this asset has actually fallen under the 25 day moving average which does give us some concern so this clearly does not show that we are very confident in keeping a long position in fact we may even consider flattening or reducing our so we'll take a look at another very simple factor to consider another factor is when we look at this lower part of this graph which I've added on TradingView is the Relative Strength Index, or the RSI. Uh, what we want to look for is whether there is any overbought or any oversold condition. And if we look on the areas that are above 70 over here, uh, these are definitely overbought conditions and consistently in overbought periods, uh, the price of the asset, in this case Bitcoin, uh, will tend to kind of uh, retract and go down. However, when we look at recently with an RSI of a slightly a shade under 50, uh, this is actually showing a bit of a weak pattern, uh, not a completely oversold area, uh, but something that basically does show that a lot of the overheating has in fact passed. So this is a, a good sign that this may be an area to possibly start uh, accumulating. Now we'll take a look at some other factors as well. Uh, this is a uh, review, uh, very easy to get on TradingView, something that uh, we actually look at on the fly as well. It's very easy for any of your users to look at. I think it's something that's easy and accessible. So we do look at the overall uh, factors. So again, um, you could tell in the oscillator section, we have examined the relative strength index, uh, which is at the top of the list for, for good reason. And in the moving averages, we are looking at the recent moving averages, again, at the top of this list, um, that is showing a, a sell indication. However, the longer uh, moving averages uh, does indicate that this is still possibly a long-term buy. So we, we're getting a bit of mixed signals. It does look like there is a bit of strength. Uh, however, what you can look at is even the longer-term averages, if the price of Bitcoin was to fall even a little bit further, you will start seeing a, a significant change of this moving average trend or momentum to be flipping uh, easily from a net buy to a net sell. So a fairly precarious situation. Uh, other things that we do look at are funding rates. Uh, funding rates, uh, we do check, and I personally check on uh, an executing on Twitter, uh, and it just gives me a very good review on how the funding rates have acted. So when we look at it from about 10 or 12 days ago, actually less than 10 or 12 days ago, um, 
the funding rates uh, for the Bitcoin perpetual swaps uh, was extremely expensive, uh, showing a lot of overheating and, and a lot of uh, uh, pricing for, for leverage uh, and gearing in the market. <coughs> However, we can see that since then, the level of leverage, the, the pricing for leverage, has gone down a lot, which does coincide with <coughs> basically the markets uh, coming down and the funding markets and the need for, for leverage also coming back to some reasonable levels. So this, I think, is also a good indicator that a lot of the bad froth has also exited uh, from the markets. Uh, another area that we do look at is stablecoin inflows. Um, I've seen some reports that stablecoin inflows may actually be a lagging indicator of Bitcoin price and not a leading indicator of Bitcoin price. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I think this is a good statistic to actually um, keep in track with to actually see kind of if there's any kind of um, uh, significant change in the in the inflows uh, into stable coins and thus into other cryptocurrencies. On the right, uh, we can tell that tether uh, the the increase in tether market cap or its outstanding has actually slowed down considerably, and this is something that we may actually expect given that also the price of uh, Bitcoin has, has fallen. An interesting thing to note here is, is that uh, Circle uh, Dollars, the USDC, has, also, has actually consistently been increasing, which may also be a positive sign that even, even if the B Bitcoin or crypto prices are falling, there is still um, increased uh, interest for fiat and the fiat world to continue to keep flowing into crypto. And this is a very interesting factor that has um, that we also must consider as well. So, in conclusion, uh, there is some strong factors and also some momentarily weak factors in the price of Bitcoin. Um, what we have decided to do is kind of play a sit on the sidelines area while until we see a little bit of clarity, and we move out of this very sensitive uh, spot um, price action area. So if the price goes up a little bit, yes, we are going to be buying a bit higher, but I think we may be increasing or adding to a long um, as it goes higher. And as it goes maybe lower, uh, we will look to hold our position, stay neutral, or maybe continue to reduce just a bit. Uh, don't worry. Uh, for the long term, uh, for fundamental reasons, um, outside of these little technicals, uh, we are still net bullish Bitcoin. All right. Thank you, and uh, I hope you catch us for our next video. Thanks.